the arteries first. This is the subclavian artery right here going actually underneath the clavicle. As we get around the armpit area, this now becomes the axillary artery. Actually, you might be able to see that better on this one. This would be the axillary artery right here. This is the circumflex artery, the axillary circumflex artery coming toward the head of the humerus. Axillary artery comes down to form the brachial artery. The brachial artery goes down the forearm here. Okay, and that's as far as we'll go with arteries today. Um, in terms of veins, this is the subclavian vein. The subclavian vein is going to come down to form the axillary vein, right, again in the armpit. The axillary vein will have veins coming off of it with our, which are deep and one that will eventually become superficial. There's a pair of deep veins, and I think that these are supposed to be that right here. They are the brachial veins, which will be following the brachial artery. And then this one here is the basilic vein. The basilic vein be starts out deep, will eventually become superficial. The one that comes around here by the head of the humerus is referred to as the cephalic vein. And it's called the cephalic vein because it goes by the head of the humerus. And it will actually travel between the deltoid muscle and the upper portion of the pectoralis major muscle. So the basilic vein is again a superficial vein that goes all the way down the arm like this. It will eventually join the basilic vein here to form what's called the median cubital vein. And of course we'll be talking about this next time. Uh, but nonetheless, the two superficial veins do meet to form the medial cubital vein, and that is the vein that you draw blood from.